Hello there, everyone. I just want to share this very, very, very cool tool. It's um, it essentially allows you to use GPT-3 in your browser. So it's this um, uh, tool called ScaleNut, and what it allows you to do, at least in the extension, allows you to start typing something. Let's say that you want to uh, write something about uh, artificial intelligence will empower. Uh, let me just zoom in real, real quick empower people to write things or do tasks more efficiently some of the reasons why are so you can just highlight this and you'll see the scale nut extension pop up with this sort of interface what you can do is you can check the templates if this is like one of the common use cases like an email template or social media post uh, you a ask a question and they give an answer various templates but um, right now we're going to use the complete command so this allows you to get generations using that as the input um, so you can also regenerate and create uh, more uh, more things based on the thing that you inputted so if you go over here and press insert it will insert this text into the sort of uh, whatever document or whatever you're writing in uh, this is really powerful because usually you know um, a lot of these like AI tools are not integrated into your everyday things and this is in your browser you're probably browsing right now on YouTube um, I mean if you're watching this on your phone then I don't think there's extensions for phones but who knows um, but this means that you, on your computer, on your desktop or laptop, you can just kind of do things like that. You can you can use it while you're writing your emails or while you're working on things for your company or something like that. Um, and so you can just take this, go over here, and add some more even. Um, so you can just keep adding things like that. Um, I mean, this is extremely powerful because uh, ScaleNut allows you to uh, kind of integrate any sort of of the language tasks you might have to do on a daily basis in, in into the simple extension that gives you the same power as a tool like Shortly AI, which I also recommend strongly. Um, but uh, ScaleNut is doing some really interesting stuff with this and if we go over here and and so the context is whatever you highlight so if we do something else different like let's say um, uh, what is the best way to create a painting that's a very random question let's just ask it you can go into the templates and then you can go here then it'll give you an answer to that so over here, you have a pretty uh, thorough, in-depth answer over here. Um, I mean, obviously, there's some, uh, you know, because of the limitations of GPT-3 trained on the Internet, it's going to give you some kind of errors over there. But that's not because of the tool. That's because of the limitations of the architecture. Um, so you can do a lot with this. Uh, one thing you can do is rephrasing. So... Let's say you type something like this. I really gotta send you uh, information about the meeting and stuff. Like, let's say you wanna rephrase that, because that is not that is not a very formal way to th say things. So you can just use the rephrase button. Um, well, apparently this is only available for higher plans, but that is what it would do. It would rephrase for you. Um, you can also do commands. So write a uh, blurb about the origin of the universe so just highlight this and then you can just do that so it'll write that so that's what that does um, I've just been playing around with this tool recently um, it's very 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 nice um, very simple user interface but very powerful um, so the other things that are very interesting about this is that 
you I mean you need like a at least 20 characters to kind of um, make it activate and it goes up to 700 characters as its context um, if you highlight this let's hope that's enough uh, that's not enough there we go um, simplify so I'll simplify this um, I don't know how it's gonna simplify that um, this is not a sentence so you know it's not <laughs> it's not a sentence that, that's a paradox uh, let's say you have a Wikipedia article on um, zebras and you want to take the description over here and put it over here and then oh that's that's too many characters let's let's go with this simplify so there you go there's those some simplified uh, descriptions of zebras so this is this is a uh, zebras so I mean this is annoying but that's that's you know um, so another thing that Scalenet has is you've got their website which they have an AI copywriter so like the thing that shortly allows you to do but uh, also Jasper AI allows you to do uh, Jasper is these guys they allow you to uh, do the same thing um, I haven't really tried it out as I'm, I don't um, really do much marketing stuff but it is the same kind of tool essentially um, all of these templates you can use let's say you want to create a product description you can just go in there put down information on your brand so let's say uh, Apple and then describing your product a new augmented reality headset that Apple has been working on for the last I don't know five years and then you can just hit control G and it'll generate but um, there is a limited amount of uh, credits that you have for your monthly quota so that is what you can do with this um, yeah they have I believe a free version um, so yes there's a free version here so there is 2000 AI words two SEO reports so this is like search engine optimization um, based stuff you can get a hundred thousand words with twelve dollars a month um, unlimited words with thirty two dollars a month uh, pro sixty dollars a month so they and that's for yearly if you do it monthly then it's obviously more money so content brief Chrome extension the Chrome extension is one of the most powerful parts of this honestly um, so I've probably used up all of my words all of the words so blah 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 Da, 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 da. yes I believe I have so um, yeah it'll it, after after it's run out of words then it's gonna redirect you to the site so then you have to uh, get a higher plan or whatever um, the SEO hub is really really interesting you can essentially create a document um, that uses the sort of like um, keyword that you're looking for so let's say you want to create a document on artificial intelligence you would select the location and the document sort of keyword so um, over here you can see that it's creating um, one of these documents creating outlines and getting questions um, for this kind of search so this is basically like if you search on Google artificial intelligence this it's looking at the most pop most popular things um, most cited URLs uh, things and blog posts and stuff that's that allows you to figure out what keywords you need for Google to basically be like oh yeah we're gonna we're gonna put this guy up um, and you know put this guy up on top of the search term so it's a very powerful tool um, so you can I mean there are a lot of implications of AI generated content like synthesizing it at mass scale but it's sort of just going to be how things are in the future um, 
So creating a SEO report, if you go into here and go to either create brief or create content, if you go to the brief, you'll be able to see the metric trends. So these are, so over here, this is like the top 30, I believe, um, competitors. Um, so these are the things that pop up online. If you search up artificial intelligence, um, you can see the average word count for the top, like um, top 10, top uh, one through 20, and top one through 30. Um, they also have a grade that ranks the uh, completeness of the content. Um, H tags are basically the number of HTML tags. Um, readability, so looks like artificial intelligence is very much um, higher complexity things. So college graduates make sense as the readability levels of artificial intelligence type stuff. Um, these are the average number of images. So you can see the readability and the word count and the amount of images um, on the ranks. So, and then the H tag. So this allows you to sort of analyze the, um, I guess the behavior of other things. So, so what it allows you to do is create outlines. Uh, it allows you to look at the outlines of websites that already exist, already like are ranked really highly, and it allows you to see what's in them. So you can actually drag those out into your content brief, but um, like over here, you can like add this over here to, this, this is your outline on the right here. And um, over here, there's a general guideline for the thing you're making. Um, so you can just straight up just drag, drag this stuff in. Um, from different high-ranking websites, which um, you know you can do that as a sort of creating an outline thing, and then you can generate content, uh, I believe, based on the outline that you have. So if you paste the outline, if you press paste outline, um, this from the thing that you extracted from the highest-ranking stuff, um, you can just essentially use their interface to write um, stuff. So you can um, select some part here, um, here and press write. Um, obviously the monthly quota here that I have has been exhausted, but you can use these tools to do a lot of interesting things. Um, it's very, very powerful. If you're trying to get your content like up on Google or anything like that, this is very helpful. It's basically Google Docs, but like utilizing their SEO thing. But you can also use their extension to use in whatever you're doing, like either you're writing your email or in your whatever your website is or on some forum or Reddit or Instagram, blah, 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 blah. Anywhere online, you can use the extension. And then in the Skillnot website, app.skillnot.com, um, you can actually use their kind of content creation type stuff. And there's also a bunch of AI templates that they have here. So, yeah. I would recommend at least checking this out because um, this is the kind of stuff that is going to change the game for just a lot of a lot of content production, a lot of ideation, accelerating a lot of that workflow. Um, and these systems are so this is like a text-based system. Uh, AI, I believe, is going to become more and more multimodal, especially as the internet becomes more immersive. Um, some research I do is into immersive computing, and so. Um, a lot of the stuff that you might have heard the term the metaverse. I mean, you can't really escape it. Um, but immersive computing is essentially what that is. And I can see a lot of multimodal generative AI companies starting to pop up. Um, but this is a language uh, AI company. And this uses natural language processing to really just get you up there on the list. Uh, very, very powerful if you're a business trying to get ahead of your competitors, find out the search terms that they use, and then build things on top of that, find ways to sort of um, create the most compelling content um, that rises to the top in your niche, whatever your niche is. Um, so AI Copywriter, SEO Hub. Um, the SEO Hub is the thing that I was just in. AI Copywriter is this thing, um, you know, the thing I just showed you. Um, Lots of, lots of things. There's um, script outlines for your videos. So um, the thing that we use for, I guess, um, the generated AI content uh, and stuff, like you'd probably do something like that over here. Um, all you need to do is basically like, um, in order to generate the, uh, well, I'll show you guys a different video how we do that. Um, but over here, 
that's essentially scale map and they have some tutorials and stuff like that um, over here getting started with scale maps there's also a Facebook community um, also there is a review and you can get 100,000 AI words if you do a review so I probably will do that um, yes so I'll put a link in the description for this uh, this tool and then you can sign up as well and then um, you know, uh, just you should join the Discord also. The we have a Discord now. Um, it's very cool. Um, and you can you can just say things about it, or if you find this useful or not. I'm gonna be doing more tutorial type things like this, just sort of open ended tutorials or like I guess like introductions to various uh, tools and stuff. But um, yes, so have a good day and uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed.